It's Thursday, November 16th at about 1.22 in the afternoon and the dogs and I have come down to the Cataractway Trail at Yarker. We're walking east from the town and it's a gorgeous afternoon. We're in this warm air right now. It's sunny and about 13 degrees. I just have this little bit of a coat on in case it was a bit windy down here or if it got cloudy, but it don't, I don't think it's going to do that. Anyhow, we're going to walk east for about an hour along here. It's not a section I walk frequently, so maybe we'll see something interesting. It was a toss-up this afternoon. I was originally going to go for a bike ride since it might be the last good day to do that. But the dogs hadn't been out for a major walk for a few days, so I thought I'd get them out when it was so beautiful. And I knew they would enjoy it, so it's hard to uh, ignore them when they're laying at home, looking lustfully out the windows on such a beautiful day. Just crossing Colebrook Road here. I just remembered that I did a video down here in July or August, I can't remember exactly when, and I had it all edited and ready to go up and uh, never did put it on. I think I just had a number of other videos that I was putting up at the time and this one got pushed ahead and I never did get it up. So sometimes there are videos that you never see. With this weather today, one would never think we're only six weeks away from Christmas. My goodness, doesn't feel like Christmas at all. Had a little winter wren calling in the cedars over here, but as soon as they turned the video camera on, they stopped calling.
Okay, we're just coming up to the Camden Portland Boundary Road. It's 217 and we've been walking for about an hour. So I think we've gone about four kilometers. Might just go a little further along here, then I'm gonna head back because I wouldn't mind getting back at a fairly decent time. We've been out late for the last couple of days. Okay, it's 2.30. I think I'm going to turn around now because we've probably gone four and a half kilometers or so. And I would like to get back and do a few things around the farm. So let's head back. So this western portion of the Cataraque Trail cuts through an area of limestone bedrock. This is the rock that you see behind me here. It's identified by the fact that it's showing up in layers. You can see the layers, the horizontal layers is how it's formed. This was formed some 540 to 360 million years ago during a time when this part of the continent was closer to the equator and overlain by ancient seas and oceans. For millions of years, sediments in those oceans drifted down to the bottom of the oceans and was there compressed over millions and millions of years to form what we see today. In this area, these rocks typically have very little soil on top of them. Most of that soil and surficial material having been removed by the last glacial period some 10,000 years ago. Further to the east, the Cataraque Trail cuts through Precambrian bedrock or granite bedrock, more typical of the Canadian Shield. And it continues like that for some time until it gets over towards Smith's Falls and then it cuts through limestone bedrock again. In many areas, if you look closely at these limestone bedrocks, you can observe many, many fossils from ancient life forms that lived in those ancient seas that were then compressed to the bottom of the ocean. And when those creatures died, they were often covered over by those ancient sediments. And in the right conditions, they might be preserved or their shapes would be preserved as fossils. Aha, what do we have here? What do we have here? I don't think there's much doubt about it. I'm pretty sure this is Bigfoot scat. It certainly looks like the pictures I've seen in some of the Sasquatch books. Bigfoot living right around here. Be careful, there might be a Bigfoot up there. and we've just passed Colebrook Road so we're about 10 minutes out from where we parked the car and it's just been a beautiful afternoon for a walk along here feelings of spring in the air almost 
quite a few bugs are out flying around and chipmunks are still out moving around so everybody's out enjoying the warmth Okay, 335 and we're back at the car. That little stretch we did today is a little noisier than most sections of the trail because there's Yarker Road just off to the side of it by about 30 meters, 20 meters away in some areas and a bit further in other areas. So you get quite a bit of car noise going along, but it's not too annoying unless you're doing video like I am, then you don't really notice it otherwise. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed that walk and I'll catch you on the next outing.